Hi, welcome to Fast Car. Today we're talking rally cars. So we're going to compare two fast forwards. Today we're going to compare the iconic Focus WRC from about 20 years ago with the more modern Fiesta Rally 2. So to do that, we'll take a look at the history of both cars, the tech specs and how rally cars have evolved over the last 20 years. And also we'll find the driver and we'll see what they're like behind the wheel too. So I said I was going to try and find a driver and trying to find someone who's driven a Focus WRC car from 20 years ago and a modern Fiesta Rally 2 car is not that easy. But our search has led us to here, which is Fix Auto in Bentham, where I found David Wright. So David, you're in a lucky position where you've actually driven both the WRC Focus and the modern Rally 2 Fiesta. How did that come about? Basically a really good friend of mine, Giles Phillips, um, bought the Focus WRC, came over from uh, Sweden. Yeah, that's uh, a genuine WRC car as well, yeah? Genuine WRC car, yeah. Um, used uh, by Carlos Sainz, uh, Monte Carlo in 2000. <laughs> It's a genuine M Sport run car. Yeah, yeah. What's the history on that car? How did that come about? Basically, that was the first round it was used in the World Championship yeah. in 2000. Then Petter Solberg drove it. Oh, okay, cool. For, for a few events. Um, famously on Rally Finland, um, he came over a jump into a crest and was a sort of a medium left hander. Yeah, yeah. He didn't make it, hit the banking on the outside and just barrel rolled him uh, into I the trees. I think I heard about it. Is that when it went into the trees? Into the trees and landed upside down in a lake. <laughs> so, uh, yes, yeah, quite a famous clip on YouTube. Yeah. Cheeky question, have you ever had any offs in that car? Uh, I've had a couple, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's part and parcel of rallying, I suppose, sometimes, that's the risk. Um, yeah, at Goodwood, um, first year we used the car, clipped a tree root, which brought the steer in. Oh, right. And went straight on into a tree. Oh. Um, luckily, it wasn't too badly damaged, it was yeah. sort of cross member and. Uh, Is that where the. the Auto yeah, it was, comes in, it's it? you really handy having your own body shop bring it back to, work to repair, repair everything. It. So yeah, over the years we repaired a lot of rally cars for customers. Yeah. Uh, now we've got into the insurance side of things. Yeah, so how long have you been at Fix Auto then? We've been in the Fix Auto franchise for about four years now. We've started small and we're building the yeah. business, so it's really good. Yeah, and it's just nice to still be able to use the car yeah. and not be mothballed in a car collection somewhere. Well, uh, I guess the Rally 2 comes in because that's the one that you use in anger now, is it? Yeah, we've just recently uh, purchased the Rally 2 to use yeah. in the Pro Tire Tarmac Championship next year. So obviously the Focus is over 20 years old now, Yeah. Uh, Focus WRC. How does that compare to the Fiesta in terms of spec? The WRC Focus was a 2-litre turbo, Yeah. but the Fiesta Rally 2 is a 1.6 turbo. It is, yeah. But they're very similar in terms of power, aren't they? Yeah. I think the obviously the focus, and it was whatever the rules were at the time, yeah. is what they were allowed to do. Yeah, um, yeah. So obviously the focus was two litre back in the day, but you've got like fresh air valves, yeah. uh, running the anti-lag, which makes a huge difference. It's a lot more controllable. Yeah, uh, yeah. Whereas the Rally 2, we're not allowed to use those systems because of the so rules. you're not allowed the, the fresh air anti-lag no, systems? No, on the, on the, the rules are it's more of a customer based spec right. so it's easier to look after yeah. cheaper turbos um, yeah, yeah, yeah. less stress on everything really but they're not roller bearing turbo on the rally 2 no they're not it's like a production based turbo oh, okay. i think Again, it's actually for being it? yeah so just to keep the cost down yeah. um, parts have got to be from production cars right okay so again it just and you're going to say it's from a bmw i think so yeah i think it's an m4 turbo or something like oh, that right. off one bank um, oh, right. so yeah it just again it's just off the shelf yeah you still have anti-lag on them though we don't do you? yeah they're still very responsive you know the engineers work away of getting around <laughs> the issues do. yeah so they find a way um, and it's yeah they still are very responsive
restrictor on the turbo side of it, so the yeah. roller bearing turbo on the WRC Focus. Yeah. And that was a, was it a 36 mil or 38 mil restrictor. Th they th had? In the in the day, the rules were 34 mil restrictor. Uh, okay. Um, for the Rally Two in FIA categories, uh, 32 mil restrictor. Right. But in our championship, we're allowed to run a 34 mil restrictor. So okay. that just gives us a little bit more power. It probably about 340 horsepower for the uh, okay. Rally Two. And then, but a normal Rally Two. Or probably. WRC two cars are about 290, 290, 290 aren't they? 290, 300 probably now. Right, okay, yeah. so yours is a little bit more, and it that is. just comes from the, the bigger restrictor. It is, yeah, just obviously more airflow. Uh, the torque figure is, is amazing, you know, the focus will pull out of a hairpin in third gear, you yeah, know, right. just, it just... response is amazing yeah. you know, it always gets you out of trouble whereas the rally two you've always got to be using up the rev range right okay. keep it singing you've and got to drive it that little yeah, bit harder yeah you've got to really drive it hard and uh, yeah keep it singing really <laughs> I did notice when we were looking around the cars earlier on actually, the induction pipe on the turbo for the Rally 2 is significantly smaller than that of the WRC car as well. It is, yeah. Um, even though, like you say, you're probably running similar sort of power output, yeah. power outputs, yeah. um, but are they running similar sort of boost pressures or is uh, I'm yeah, guessing I the Rally 2 is probably running slightly higher? Yeah, I mean the Rally 2 actually has a pop-off valve in FIA spec so you can only run a maximum boost pressure, uh, right. otherwise the what is that? What is that set at? Do you know? I'm not sure what the setting is. Um, probably about 1.8 bar of boost, something oh, okay. like that. Okay, so it's a, it's a yeah, decent it's, amount of yeah, boost. Yeah, it's a decent amount, yeah, it's enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, whereas the Focus, I think you can run up to 2 bar of boost, something right. like that. But how do the suspension systems differ between the two cars? They're obviously coilovers, mega spec. Are yeah. they rigors on them? Rigor dampers, yeah. 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 Is there any sort of physical differences between the two? Yeah, I mean, obviously, again, 20 years of development. Um, yeah. The Riga dampers on the modern cars now have got so much more travel, especially right. on gravel. Um, uh, okay. That's the biggest difference. Yeah. We've got roller bearing uh, dampers as well, uh, cool. the four-way adjustable. Um, yeah. You've got rebound control and corner control valves as well, so it knows when it's in a corner to uh, stiffen the damper up. If you look at the two cars side by side, the Focus looks like a Focus. The Rally 2 Fiesta has got massive body kit on it, aero package, and it's, yeah. it must be what looks like about 100 mil wider than a standard Mark 8 Fiesta, yeah. whereas the Focus looks like it's the same width and length and size and shape as a road going Focus. Um, do they move the suspension pickup points for the Rally 2 cars? Yeah, I mean, from a, a standard Fiesta, it's massively different. Yeah. Um, it's rear turreted, so if you've got a yeah. first and strut all around, um, you've got massive amounts of travel. So how do they, does that sort of feel behind the wheel then? Do you, do you, does the Focus feel? heavier and more robust when you're driving it? I mean, when you're doing jumps and stuff like that? Um, the Focus is such a great car to drive. Um, the difference in the two in 20 years of technology, um, the Rally 2 feels like a go-kart in comparison to the Focus. Oh, really? Every input is, you know, is so sharp and feels yeah. so responsive. Does it just feel lighter, more nimble? It does, yeah. The steering's so much faster and quicker. Right. Um, you know, and the braking and acceleration grip you've got is incredible. Yeah. You know, the, how late you can brake in a Rally 2 is, is amazing. <laughs> uh, as the Focus just feels that little bit heavier and a little bit more body roll. I, mean, but I suppose you feel like you can run over a boulder in the Focus, whereas exactly, you've got to yeah. try and avoid everything yeah, in the, in the yeah. Fiesta. It's, yeah, in the, the Focus on, in full tarmac spec is a really quick car, Yeah. Um, but they progressed onto a, an 05 Focus, which was like probably the ultimate tarmac yeah, car that yeah. was ever made, uh, before the rules were tightened and active diffs were banned. Yeah. That was probably the last progression of car that Yeah, was, that's the Focus Evo we're talking about, isn't it? Yeah, one Evo. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think the designs have always been brought from WRC and what the what they've learned has gone into the Rally 2s, but yeah. it seemed like the weight distribution, you sat so low and everything is... Yeah, you um, can see you sat so much further back, back as well, yeah. So much further sort of centrally. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's such a difference to drive. It's amazing what the weight difference does make, you know, yeah. where, where the weight's positioned in the car. Uh, that gear change is, you know, it's hydraulic, so it's really smooth. The gear shift oh, no, right. cut is really soft. It's and also an electro. It's just a joystick, yes. Yeah. So you've got a micro switch that basically right. tells the gear to change uh, uh, cool. hydraulically. <laughs> Way more advanced than a mechanical yeah. uh, you know, lever you've got to pull. I'm talking the gearboxes, 
the WRC car is a six speed. It is, yeah. And then the Rally 2 car is a five, five speed, speed, is that right? Yeah. So do they have different top speeds? They have different gearing and, and different gearing, but the Rally 2 is probably geared for about 120 20 miles an hour. Yeah. Um, yeah, WRC probably a little bit faster than that, depending right. on which ratio you fitted. Uh, the Rally 2, we've got three ratios, short, medium and long. Right. Um, but again, depending on which events you're doing, you try and think about, you know, are you going to compromise acceleration for top speed, yeah, just yeah. depending on the nature of the, the stages yeah, and the event. Be, yeah. So, to answer my question that I asked in the outset, how have rally cars evolved over the last 20 years? I think, obviously, you've got to think there's rules in place that manufacturers can only build to those rules. Yeah. Um, but the WRC has certainly got a lot more exciting in my eyes. Yeah. You know, the sound, the speed, the spectacle of them. Right. I think the Focus WRC in that era was an iconic car in yeah. 2000. I remember watching Colin McRae in it and uh, thinking, wow, I'd love to have a go in one of those one day. And yeah. I never ever thought I'd be lucky enough to actually drive one. Um, obviously the modern Pumas now, they've got the hybrid systems. Yeah. Um, they're running bigger restrictors, probably 500 horsepower. I think they're yeah. really good to watch. Um, yeah. But I think for me, the like the 17 car onwards was was the the best era with yeah. the high downforce, the aerodynamics. Yeah, it was very akin to the old Group B cars in terms of yeah. the spectacle. Yeah, um, yeah, fantastic. And certainly the, the downforce they gave to the speed that they can corner yeah. Um, was uh, yeah very exciting. So one final question then: Which one do you prefer driving? That's a difficult one. Um, I think certainly on tarmac, the Rally 2 is far superior. It's just so fast to drive. You know, the, the, the braking and the corner speed that you can carry is, is yeah, it's incredible really. Yeah. Um, throwing it down the, the Manx lanes at 120 mile an hour with your wheels basically touching the side of the road is, yeah, it's, it's, it's really good fun. So today we've seen two awesome fast forwards. Let us know which one you prefer in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And don't forget to hit that notification bell.